And new tonight at 10, schools in Saline County are receiving life-saving devices that helped save one of their own almost three years ago. Teesfield Evans' Melissa Zikowicz shows us the importance of schools in Benton and Bryan getting more automatic external defibrillators. Yeah, Craig, an AED was used on Benton High School senior Grant Steed when he collapsed during practice in March of 2017. Now all schools in Saline County will soon have access to that same device. More than grateful to be here. It was almost three years ago. Normal day baseball practice, I didn't think much of it. When Grant Steed's heart stopped on the baseball field. The last thing I really remember is getting to center field. He woke up in the hospital 18 days later. It's kind of hard to wrap my mind around sometimes. His coaches immediately took action with this device. They shocked me a total of seven times on the baseball field. The AED saved his life. Without one of these, it probably, like, I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. Now all schools in Saline County will soon have access to one. You never know what kind of athlete or student may have some sort of Heart problem. The Saline County Health Foundation is hosting a 5K fundraiser called the Beat Goes On to give out 10 AEDs to schools in Saline County. An AED gives people an opportunity, um, you know, who aren't surrounded by all that medical technology to save lives. Dr. Ahmed Youssef is an internal medicine specialist. Studies show that if somebody uses an AED, a bystander uses an AED when somebody's heart stops in the field, that person is twice as likely to survive. Having AEDs placed in each school will save even more kids like Grant. So it literally walks you through the process. It's designed for anybody to use it. The pads actually tell you exactly where they should go, and that's the way they were kind of created. Um, to, to avoid the need for some emergency person to be there for this to work. Dr. Yusuf says it's vital to always have one of these within arm's reach. The more places this device is, is the more of a chance as a community, you know, we save lives that can be saved. Those AEDs will be distributed after the beat goes on 5K. It takes place on February 22nd. If you are interested in getting involved, we have the sign-up info on THV11.com.